We live in exciting times that present us with many new innovations and opportunities. We also face many challenges. Global warming and unequal resource distribution, global food security, public health and predicting pandemics. In this era of challenges and opportunities, Japan has introduced a new concept called Society 5.0. This is a society that through the high degree of merging between cyberspace and physical space will be able to balance economic advancements with the resolution of social problems by providing goods and services that granularly address manifold latent needs regardless of local, age, gender or language. Society 5.0 follows on from Society 1.0, the hunting society. Society 2.0, the agricultural society. Society 3.0, industrial society. And Society 4.0, the information society. Society 5.0 is a way to address both the future economic and societal challenges faced by humanity at present and in future stage by using all the advances of Industry 4.0. So the question is, what will be different in Society 5.0? In our present society, knowledge and information are used without sharing. In Society 5.0, the Internet of Things will connect all people, data, information and knowledge will be shared. Humans will be freed from burdensome work of analysing huge amounts of information. The Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, and innovative technologies will be used for optimizing individual lives and society as a whole. Integration of physical space and cyberspace will evolve. Value creations will be accelerated by AI and robots. Although the challenges faced by humanity are extremely complex, people will not be overwhelmed by information because technology will be used to analyze large data sets and other information and recommendations will come from the results. So, in a human-centered society, it will be possible to balance economic development with resolution of social issues. Society 5.0 will overcome social disparities, for example, in access to goods by using drones for distribution in rural areas. The vision of Society 5.0 links with the UN's Sustainable Development Goals, or the SDGs. SDG 4 focuses on education. It states that no one should be left behind and education should be affordable and freely accessible to everyone and using technologies should make education affordable and available to everyone. The question is, how can technology be used to assist education? We need to relate the skills that need to be acquired, the use of technology in acquiring those skills and the use of technology in teaching students. Education in Society 5.0 is not without challenges. Our ambition is to do things for the greater good, but we need to take care that solutions do not create new problems. For example, access for everyone via online systems might be a challenge, and then providing access to the content needed for learning may be difficult. But there are many opportunities. Students in remote locations could have much better access to education, better interaction with lecturers and fellow students, using simulation and models to explore scenarios, to prepare for real life scenarios, safe from mistakes, practicing skills before applying them at little or no cost. Just think about surgery, for example. South Africa faces unique problems in using technology in our education system. We need to ask how universities can overcome the digital divide. We need to consider different teaching models we need to consider student success in rethinking those teaching models. Students will need to acquire digital literacy. Programming, data science and artificial intelligence should be included in skills training, combined with the traditional disciplines of mathematics, philosophy and languages. Going into Society 5.0, there is great potential to enable our students, using technology to assist students and facilitate their training. And it's essential that lecturers become informed about new technologies and understand how to use them. We have an enormous opportunity to build a South African society in which education is affordable, effective and freely available. Today is our opportunity to begin to take the University of Pretoria forward to the forefront of Society 5.0. Thank you.